Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have our crumble cookie uh, cookies to review and I had to do a double on the lemon because let's just face it, that lemon one they made before was good and I wanted to see how this one stood up to the other one. Uh, I got six today because I wanted two of that one. And um, there's one flavor I left out and I'll explain that uh, when I'm doing the review. But I'm super excited to do this review today. So if you are new, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and the like button. And if you are returning, I wanna thank you for all your support of my channel. I truly do appreciate it. If you like DIYs, crafting on a budget, shopping hauls, cook, cake decorating, cooking, recipes, and more, this is the channel for you. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is crumble day, you got it. It is how the cookie crumbles, and yes, we are still doing the crumble cookie uh, taste tests, I guess you would say. Um, today I do not have my sunglasses on. I was told in my video last time that I needed to take my sunglasses off. So I went ahead and took them off for you guys. Um, I am sitting in the parking lot because I did go to work today and then did this after work and then I've got errands to run. So I wanted to pop on and make sure we do our little uh, review here and I'll show you exactly what I got today. I moved up in the world. I got myself a six box, six cookie box. Not that I need it, but because one of my favorite flavors is here. I decided that I needed two of those because I'm sure my family would enjoy that flavor as well. So with that said, let's look at what we got. Okay, are you ready for this? I've never done a six box. Well, I only technically have to eat five, so it's only one more than normal, but I will show you what I got and what I left out. So this week they had confetti cake return and I did not try that last week, so I decided to go ahead and pop that in the box. This is called Mom's Cookie, which I'm assuming is like a, if I read it right, it's like a chocolate chip oatmeal cookie with sea salt on top um, and maybe toffee. I am I think that's what it was. So I had to try that one. I'm not much of the salt on top of the cookies, but some people love that. This is the flavor that I had to get two of. This is the lemon glaze. Now it's definitely not the lemon meringue, which was amazing but anything lemon I like. So since we loved the lemon the best that week, I decided to go ahead and get two of the lemon glaze so that we were sure to have enough. This is called a mango sorbet. This is their chilled cookie of the week. So everything else is warm. This is chilled. I believe confetti cake is also chilled. Um, I debated on getting this one or not because like I said in the past, I'm not much on the chilled cookies, but I do really like mango. So I thought we better give this one a try. And then we have the pink velvet, which they say is served warm with that cream cheese frosting on the top. So I definitely had to try the pink velvet. Now you may see one cookie lacking, which is a chocolate cookie. This, I usually have chocolate in my box and the only thing I have is the mom's chocolate chip cookie. So um, the, chocolate cookie this week was Nutella hazelnut um, and I am not a hazelnut nor a Nutella fan so although it looked really good the girl had accidentally put it in my box and I had to have her fix it but I'm telling you it was looking really good <laughs> so the hazelnut again was not my thing and no one in my family really likes the nuts on their cookie so we went ahead and we substituted that with confetti cake this week. So someone will have to let me know how that Nutella one was. So with that said, I think we'll try, which one should we try first? What do you think? Should I start on this side? Let's try the pink velvet first. And this cookie is so pretty, I don't want to ruin it. It really is a pretty cookie. Good experience today in there. People were very nice. Okay, this is supposed to be a warm cookie. At least that's what it said on the thing. Oh, sorry. It is, it's not warm. It's definitely a cold cookie. So maybe I read that wrong, but here's the inside of the cookie with a little bit of that frosting. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay, like I said, it's definitely not warm. So maybe it, I read that wrong. So I'll have to go back and look. Mm. 
It's good. This one's real crunchy. Not a lot of soft parts to it like I expected it to be. It's good. The frosting is super sweet. Super, super sweet. So, as good as it is, it's just too sweet for me. So, that's probably one that I would not get again. Not because it's bad. Because it does have a good flavor. Um, it, it's just a bit sweet for me. So, this one I give about a 7 out of 10. And somebody might disagree with me, but that... That's really what, I think just because of the overall sweetness of it, I'm gonna taste the frosting by itself. Yeah, that frosting, ooh, super sweet. So the pink velvet is definitely a seven out of 10. Let's see what we're gonna try next. Okay, I think we will try, since we're on the sweet kick here, we're gonna go ahead and try this chilled cookie. Now for being a chilled cookie, this one is really hard. Like this, you can see, it's not soft at all. I'm pushing on it, and I thought it was supposed to be a lot softer. It's a little bit crunchy. This one, being a chilled cookie, is super soft, so I am a little bit excited to try this one. I'm gonna try to get an edge where I get the mango in there. So I'm gonna show you. A lot of frosting this week for me. <laughs> so here's the mango. Basically looks like the sugar cookie, right? with a little bit of frosting. So let's give this one a try. Okay, here we go. Definitely get the mango in that frosting. Definitely gonna have to drink Mojo after this one to set off the sweetness. Ooh. Another one that's super, super sweet. The cookie itself is soft, buttery, yummy. The frosting, you taste the mango, but way sweet, overly sweet. So again, I like this cookie. I think it has good flavor. I think the intention is there, but unless I'm drinking Mojo or coffee or something with it to set that sweetness off, I probably would not eat this. If I had a really big sweet tooth, I might break off a piece and eat it. But that one bite was enough for me. So anyway, I would give that one a seven out of 10 as well. So that's two of them. What one should we try next? I gotta take a drink of coffee. This is my mojo, by the way. And it's gonna help cleanse my palate a little bit. All right, let's see what we got next. On to sweet number three. This is the confetti cake. I'm pretty sure I got this for my daughter's birthday, but oh, that's too big of a piece, but I'm not sure. It's a sugar cookie, obviously, with a like buttercream cream cheese type frosting and sprinkles, just like a birthday cake would be. Um, it is served chilled, so it is chilled. We're gonna give this one a try. Okay. It's good. I always love their sugar cookies. Their sugar cookies are delicious. It's a little crunchy, like the pink velvet was. It's got confetti inside the cookie. So I love the sugar cookie itself. However, the frosting must be all the same base because again, it's super sweet. I could totally eat that cookie with just a little bit, just a little bit of that frosting on the cookie. Not so much. Mm, I'd give it an eight out of 10, it's good. Like I, like I said, I love the sugar cookie, it's so yummy. It's a little crunchy, not soft, but that's okay. I like a crunchy cookie. But the icing is way sweet. So yeah, that one I'll give an eight out of 10. So, as I cleanse my palate again, with some mojo. Ugh. If any of you want to know what I'm talking about, you have no idea what mojo is. <laughs> That's what I have in my cup here. I'll put that in the description box below, just in case you want to check it out and see what it's like. 
and what's in it. Okay, so what are we gonna try next? Okay, well, while we're at it, I guess we should probably just stick with the sweetest ones and do that salty chocolate chip cookie last. So I gave this one a seven out of 10, seven out of 10. I'd say this is a seven, eight out of 10. Like I said, I really do like the cookie. But now for my favorite one. Well, I hope it not, does not disappoint. It's definitely warm, soft. I'm so excited. There it is. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna try it now. Mm, 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 mm. That cookie. So far, that's the best cookie in the box. A lemony cookie. It's warm. It's soft. Oh my goodness. Believe it or not, this is my lunch today. It's not a good lunch to have, but I don't have time. So um, that's, mm, that's really good. Like I said, soft, lemony. Not, not overly lemony, but lemony not too sweet it has that nice little glaze on top it's not all that thick frosting so that's like perfect and obviously they put like a lemon juice or something in that icing definitely my favorite one I definitely could have done a whole box of these I could have done without the other three. Oh my goodness gracious I'm so glad I got two of those. Mmm. That's a good cookie. I'm gonna have a hard time staying away from that one. All right, so let's give this last one a try. Okay, here's the chocolate. It's the mom's, mom's cookie is what it's called. And I think it's an oatmeal, like I said, oatmeal chocolate chip type cookie with that sea salt on top. I'm gonna try to get a part that doesn't have too much sea salt because that's really not my thing. So I'll just break it off right there. There's the inside of that cookie. You can see all the chocolate chips. You can tell it's warm because the chocolate's kind of melty. So let's give this one a shot. Okay, here we go. I don't know, that lemon one's gonna be hard to beat. Ugh. See, I'm not into the salt on my cookies. Not even a little bit. The cookie without the salt is top notch. It's soft. You can taste the oatmeal in it. Not overly sweet, but I didn't expect it to be if it had salt on it. So the cookie itself the cookie itself, I give a 10 out of 10. With the salt on it, a 9 out of 10, but that's because I don't like salt on my cookies. I'm just one of those weird people that doesn't like that. I don't like salt on watermelon. Who out there likes salt on watermelon? I don't like that. But the cookie itself is divine. I could eat that cookie all day long and just shake the salt off the top of it. Either that or just get the chocolate chip. But what I like about this one and there's oatmeal in it. And I love oatmeal chocolate chip. So that one, cookie 10 out of 10 with the salt, I say a nine out of 10. So that's kind of my review. Let's go over this. Okay, pink velvet cookie. A little bit hard for me. Frosting is a little bit too sweet. That one I gave a seven out of 10. The mango sorbet is a chilled cookie and although it is soft, it's good. The mango flavoring and the frosting is delicious, but the frosting itself, again, is too sweet, way too sweet and overtakes the cookie. So that one's a seven out of 10. Confetti cake sugar cookie is amazing. It's soft, it tastes good. Again, the frosting is too sweet. I gave that one an eight out of 10. Uh, I would say between a seven and an eight out of 10, but because I love the base of that cookie so much, that's why I gave it the eight out of 10. The mom's uh, cookie, the chocolate chip cookie with oatmeal and sea salt. Um, like I said, a 10 out of 10 for the cookie itself. If it has a salt on it, a 9 out of 10. 
because the salt to me it's it's coarse and it kind of I don't know throws it off to me it's just not my thing the lemon is a sure 10 out of 10 for me it's citrusy it's soft it's warm it's yummy it's not too sweet it's not too it's not too anything it's just I mean sorry the garbage truck is out here in the parking lot all right so there it is Whoop. I was trying to wait for them to leave and they're still not done so there's all the cookies that's what we got my daughter is not going to be happy with me that I bought six cookies, but I may end up taking these to work and just cutting the edges off of them. It was pretty pricey for me today. It was $23 for this, but I definitely wanted two lemons and I was not gonna pass by doing a good review. The only one, like I said, that I passed by on was the Nutella. And that's because I don't like Nutella or hazelnut. So. Someone out there can let me know what they think of that cookie, but here they are. So that's it for today. We're gonna go ahead and sign off. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time I download, upload, whatever it is, a video. Um, please hit that like button for it helps YouTube to see that I am being watched and my content is liked and so then it helps my channel to grow um what else do i want to say okay so if you're joining my channel or you're subscribing to my channel i want you to know that i'm a jack of all trades master of none this is a once a week series where i do taste tests on crumble cookies so far that's as far as i've gotten um i would like to actually test some other places eventually but right now it's just crumble um, I also do DIYs, I do crafting on a budget, I do cake decorating, shopping hauls, am I missing anything? Recipes. Um, so I do a little bit of everything, lots of crafting. Um, so if that sounds like something you would want to watch weekly, please hit that subscribe button again. Thank you so much for your support of my channel and watching these uh, crumble cookie reviews. This has been a lot of fun and I'm so happy that I've been doing it. So anyway, God bless everyone and have a wonderful day. As always, thank you for watching and thank you for the feedback. I truly, truly do appreciate it. Again, have a wonderful day and God bless.